first, I just want to take a look at sort of our base GTX 1050 heat and cooler design. So pretty much all it is is a central, small, I don't even know what that is, 30 millimeter fan, 20 millimeter fan. Um, and we just sort of have this plastic shroud, very thin, just on there, sort of covering the heat sink. Um, and we just have the fan blowing down onto the heat sink. Um, so what my vision is, is to actually have us be blowing air in through the heat sink, through the fins, and out the back of the card. Um, so we're gonna try to design something, 3D print it, and actually get it up and running. So first I'm just gonna do a base run 3D Mark to get our temps on our base heat sink and cooler uh, design from Gigabyte, and then we'll get along with the design of the new one. And there we go. So our max temp was 78 degrees C and our max fan speed was 64%. Here we are guys. Here is the design of our new GPU shroud. So it's going to be a blower style uh, cooler. Um, so instead of, you know, the fan being situated right above the heat sink and just blowing air directly down. We're gonna have it so that it's blowing air through the heatsink and then out the back of the case. So we have this opening here. So that's mainly just to make room for some motherboard clearance and the PCIe slot clearance. We have our fan mounting holes here. And then just some aesthetic design on the front uh, so with some nice chamfers. And then here is the actual rail that the heatsink will slide onto as it's guiding its way into the cooler uh, shroud. So here it is. Did it in Autodesk Fusion 360, exported it through the 3D print feature, um, and then imported into the Creality software. So open that up real quick. So once we have it loaded into the Creality slicer, the best way to actually print this guy would be to rotate it on its face so that the only overhang we have is for the screw mounts. Um, everything else doesn't require anything. And it looks like it's going to take seven hours to print. So that's looking good. I'll go ahead and print this, give you guys some updates. And once it's all done, we can put it together and see what kind of cooling performance we get. Finishing up the print. As you can see, we have a nice looking design here. So that's the hole is where the actual PCIe slot um, that's gonna go. If we come around, you can see the nice design pattern we got going on the back. And if we try to get a view from right above, that is where our fan is going to go. So the fan is going to go at the back and then be blowing air through our through our actual heat sink. So right now we're sitting at around 
six hours, 80% complete. It's supposed to take around seven, seven and a half hours. So we'll come back and get it when it's done. And then I'll show you guys the install and what it actually looks like when the, the GPU is actually sitting in there. So here we have it guys, our GPU shroud. Looks really, really nice. So you can see our nice ridges there to slide onto our heat sink. So we can see right here, we have this ridge um, and that's where those will slide onto. And then, yeah, it's real simple. So all we have to do is take our design, just line up the two guide rails. There we go. And as easy as sliding it on. So that's it. So it looks really slick. So this is sort of how it'll look inside of the PC. So you have somewhat of a back cover on the top plate. You have plenty of clearance there, so I'm not worried really at all um, about airflow in the back. Um, and then all I have to do now is attach the fan. So to do that, we'll just put the fan header in. Get that in, and then we just have to screw in our three fan screws. There we go guys, it's as easy as that. So I mean, there's no locking mechanism, so this can still slide pretty freely. But once it's on there and you put it in your case, it's not gonna go anywhere. So it looks pretty slick, nice blower design, cooler. And we'll see what the thermal performance. So here it is all in the system. Don't mind the uh, extra PCIe cable there. That is for my 1070 that I took out just to do some testing with this guy. But as you can see, a fan spinning, spitting out air. You can see the nice little design there. And we got air flowing through the back grates. So now we're just gonna run through the same 3D Mark testing that we did on the base version of the, the heatsink and uh, thermal design um, with our new design. See what our temperatures and fan speeds like.
So there we have it, 83 degrees C max and 73% on the fan speed. So now we'll compare it to our original design and see what kind of performance we see. So now taking a look at the two different scores. So this is our new design, this being the old design. So we saw a 5 degree C increase on temps with our new design, so not the greatest design thermally, and a higher, about 9% increase on fan speed. So, not the best uh, results, but the design of the actual card itself is really, really awesome um, with the 3D printed version. Um, so, I mean, I think from that perspective, only 5 degrees warmer. Um, I might stick it out with the new design for a little bit and see how it works. But I think the thing that's sort of detrimenting is it, we're trapping all that heat in there now. So almost being a full enclosure around the graphics card, we're, we're trapping a lot of the heat and that small fan isn't enough to push it out. Um, but I think it was a cool experiment. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like if you like the video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already.